what is Web3? Imagine the internet is like a big city with lots of buildings and roads. Web3 is like a new version of that city where people have more control and power. Web1, also known as the first generation of the internet, is like a city where information and websites exist, but they're not very interactive. People mostly visit websites to read and look at things, but they don't have much control or power to change or interact with those websites. Then came Web2, the second generation of the internet. It introduced things like social media, online shopping, and apps that allowed people to do more than just read or look at things. Web2 made the internet more interactive. Companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Amazon became popular because they offered services and platforms that made it easy for people to connect, share, and buy things online. Now in Web3, instead of a central authority like a government or a company making decisions, people work together using a special technology called blockchain. So the investor takeaway for this video is that with Web3, you can do things like own your own data and control who has access to it. You can also use cryptocurrencies to buy and sell things online without needing a bank or other middlemen. Web3 also encourages people to work together and make decisions together in groups called DAOs, Decentralized Autonomous Organizations. Follow Bitcoin Market Journal, subscribe to our newsletter, and stay tuned for our next videos.